Hello and welcome back to another DT Swiss product presentation. E-mountain bikes are still the most growing segment in cycling today. We see there as well more and more diversification, especially if it comes to the different motor and battery systems. Therefore, we see at DT Swiss the need for specific so-called light support EMTB wheels. Today with me is Julian Schmidt. He's working in the product management team at DT Swiss and you're responsible there for the mountain bike wheels and components. Is this correct? That's correct, yes. How okay. are you doing? Not too bad. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Julian. I would like to talk about our news achievements if it comes to e-mountain bike wheels, the so-called light support wheels. What does light support mean? Mm, that's a good question. So light support for us is um, a development we see in the in the e-bike segment or in the e-bike market already since a few years uh, and therefore we saw the need for a new wheel set um, and if we are looking on the mountain bike market right now we of course have the normal mountain bike wheels uh, the normal mountain bikes without a motor and as well the mountain bike wheels um, and also the classical e-bike we have in the mountain bike field with uh, a higher system weight so the bikes are weighting around 25 kilograms um, and are mostly spec with a higher torque motor that can be around 90 newton meter uh, more or less and um, another development we see is that you see more and more light support e-bikes in the market and light support e-bikes are normally uh, they have a rate, weight around 15 kilograms so they are uh, slightly or mostly lighter than normal e-bikes and they also have a motor that has a torque on a lower level so around 15 newton meters and exactly for these kind of bikes we saw the need for a new wheel set so those light support e-mountain bike wheels will close the gap in between classic mountain bike wheels and the hybrid wheels of dt swiss yes exactly so if we are looking on the rider we are seeing in the market um, it is supposed to be for all riders who wants to still have an agile mountain bike but also with the comfort of an of a motor that is packed into the bike so like a really still a really fast bike um, that still gives you the support with the motor on on a climb that you still can do it quite fast yes so uh, yeah, when we're talking about agility, we're mostly talking about weight. Is those wheels need to be lighter for sure. Is this just achieved by using a different rim or what did you did? No, no, it's not just the rim that we updated for, for the new light support wheels. So if we're going back in time a little bit, look on the first generation of hybrid wheels. Um, I think we already started a new chapter with specifically developed wheels for, for e-mountain bikes. And now with the second generation, we considered the developments we saw in the market, split it, the, the category into two fields and um, devel developed uh, overall new parts for both the hybrid and the hybrid light support wheels. So if we look on the light support wheels, of course, we are closer to a normal mountain bike wheel, but still with the consideration of mon uh, motor torques and the loads you have uh, when you're using an e-bike. So it's the combination of both That's, fields. That seems to be then challenging to have on one hand the agility, make stuff lighter, make the wheels lighter in this specific case. And at the other hand, you need the durability as the abuse of those wheels with the torque plus the torque of the motor and your legs um, need more durable wheels. How did you achieve this? Yes, exactly. So, I mean, if we have a new development, it's, it's never easy to, uh, to reach this point. Um, so one important point was the classification of the wheel set. Um, if we are looking on the normal hybrid wheels, we have the ASTM4 classification. For the light support wheels, it's the ASTM4 classification as well. But we are working here with a reduced overall system, a maximum system weight of run 130 kilograms. And uh, yeah, the challenging part was to find the perfect combination for all the parts. 
because you still want to have a uh, yeah, fast wheelset that is still durable enough for, for, um, for the e-bike field. Julian, you mentioned already the different specific components on those new wheels. Let's go now and talk about the details of the two different models being available, starting with the HXC 1501 light support. Yes, so the HXC 1501 light support is our top level wheel set we have in the light support segment. Um, it is a combination of a lighter carbon rim than we used in the normal hybrid wheels, combined with a 240 spline ratchet EXP oversized hub with 30 teeth ratchets. Um, and that together with a triple butted, specifically developed um, hybrid spoke with a 2.15 millimeter spoke head. Then we have the next model, which is a little bit lower priced, the HX1700 light support, uh, which we're using an aluminum rim. Is this the only difference to the HXC? No, it's not just the rim. Um, yeah, for sure, beside of the, the carbon version, we also wanted to have an aluminum version on 1700 level. And if we look on the components, we also have um, a lighter aluminum rim than we used in the normal hybrid wheels. And that comes um, yeah, on that price level with a 350 spline hub, also with the well-known ratchet system um, and with 24 teeth ratchets. And then in combination with um, a spoke that is double butted, also with a 2.15 spoke head. Um, it's also a specifically developed hybrid spoke we used here. So and what about the wheel sizes and rim dimensions being available? Ah, that's a good point. So we have two categories. Both will come in a 650B and 29 option and boost only. That, okay. is, that is a really important point. To combine the components, uh, another big part, especially if it comes to DT Swiss wheels, is the wheel building. Let's, let's talk about the wheel mm. building and maybe even the, the testing process of such wheels. Yeah, maybe we should start with the testing process. So we already talked about the challenge we had to develop this, um, this field because we wanted to find the, the sweet spot between the normal mountain bike wheel set and a hybrid wheel set. And for sure, the, our testing facilities are the best way to test all the components we specified for the wheels. Um, and to test them under the circumstances we, we defined for, for this specific field. And that gave us a lot of, um, a lot of knowledge um, of these components so that we could find the best possible combination of, um, of components. And yeah, for sure, if we talk about our wheel building facilities and the fact that also the light support wheels, as all our wheels are um, built up by hand, um, that is the most important point when it comes to uh, an overall quality level that we ha want to have on all our wheels. Yeah, if it comes to quality, another question which might be interesting as well to be, get answered from you, from customers which might show up are uh, or is the question, if I'm a light rider and I'm not reaching the maximum system weight with my regular mountain bike wheel or e-mountain bike wheel, is this recommended by DT Swiss that the light support wheels should be used on a e-mountain bike with a high torque motor? Yeah, that's a really good question. So I think in the first step, it could be a little bit confusing that we now have uh, two, two different categories for, for e-bikes especially for customers who are not so deep into this field and into the components. Um, but I have to say, of course, the light support wheels were specifically developed for specific circumstances and therefore it's supposed to be used on uh, lighter motor spec bikes, as I said before, that um, are in a range of around 50 newton meter. So um, if you're considering to, to buy uh, an e mountain bike wheel, you should look on the specific um, requirements and um, specifications we have both for the light support wheels and also for the normal hybrid wheels. Thank you, Julian. Thank you for being here and giving us some details about the process of developing wheels and an inside view into those new, new models. Yeah, thank you for your time. And yeah, I hope 
it answers all the or the most important questions uh, there that could occur about light support wheels. And yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. As you heard from Julian, there might be even more information needed. You can find more information about light support wheels or on all our products on the website dtswiss.com. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon again. Bye.